If you are or know someone who's neurodiverse, such as has ADHD, has PMDD, PMS, or is perimenopausal, then let me explain the multiple hormone sensitivity theory to you. Now, a lot of you will probably watch this and go, we have been saying this for ages and you told us it's all in our heads. I know, and I'm so sorry. I'm Dr. Nagat, a GP with a specialist interest in women's health and the author of The Knowledge, where I talk a lot about hormones and menstrual cycle. And let me tell you about the multiple hormone theory. You weren't going mad. The multiple hormone theory has been around for quite a while, but I'm here to tell you that finally we can agree upon that lowering of your estrogen just before your periods leads to a decrease in inability to stay focused on tasks, agitation, fidgeting, lack of concentration, losing your thread mid-conversation, difficulty to maintain attention and poor regulation of your emotions. So you feel more sensitive, have loss of confidence, loss of self-esteem, uh, feel more tearful and feel more irritable or might get clumsy. If you're like me, I tend to scratch my car a lot, which annoys my husband. Or you can become aggressively angry, which isn't normally like you. This is because finally we have agreed upon and the scientific data backs up what women have been saying for millennia, I feel, and for a very long time. And we've always said or fobbed them off or said it's in their head that the womb, our gynecological womb, our uterus, our ovaries and the hormones that we produce there are inexplicably linked to our brain. Yeah. And now get this. We have agreed upon the fact that women's brains change throughout the menstrual cycle because various hormones have an intrinsic ways and pathways and reactions within the neurological pathways in our brains. If you think you have ADHD, maybe your daughter, a friend or somebody that you work with or you have ADHD and always have found it a struggle to talk about your menstrual cycle. Well, this study is well worth looking at and please take some time to read it. It was published in the Hormones and Behaviour magazine in February. Um, attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder and the Menstrual Cycle Theory. And then they go through all the evidence. I'll show you the highlights of this article. ADHD is a neurodiversity and as the article suggests, there's a striking difference between male and female presentation, pickup rate, symptoms and associated problems with development. In fact, we know that women and girls find it harder to get a diagnosis, mainly because of masking and also because they are not believed sometimes and there's lots of misogyny. So what the article has shown with data and lived in experiences can corroborate this is that females with ADHD may experience both organizational and their activity is impacted due to the hormonal effects. ADHD symptoms increase at times of rapid decline in estrogen. There's also declines in estrogen which affect executive function and trait control at two points of the menstrual cycle. So yes, you're absolutely right. Your menstrual cycle is affecting the way that your brain functions. And then finally, hormones interact with positive and negative effects to increase symptoms of ADHD. So if you have found that your symptoms are probably getting worse in and around perimenopause or at the time of your period, then you are not wrong. You are absolutely right. The luteal phase in regards to the decrease of the estrogen is having direct impact on the neurological pathways within your brain. So unlike biological men, as biological females are cyclical transitional beings, the article discusses that the most critical period for development of ADHD risk in women and girls seems to be especially at the developmental periods corresponding with our reproductive life events such as adolescence, puberty, pregnancy and menopause. So what this article is really highlighting is the fact that we need greater awareness of understanding the neurobiological menstrual cycle effect that happens. So our ovaries and the hormones that we produce are intrinsically linked with our brain. This means we need greater awareness of ADHD and the hormone sensitivities that happen at different stages of life. For someone like me as a doctor, this is really significant because it means I would need to be careful when I'm thinking about hormonal contraceptives for my patients. So we know that synthetic progesterones and also estrogens could have an impact on worsening or even helping with the ADHD symptoms. And I know that I use hormonal contraceptives, which can have sometimes a beneficial effect for my PMDD patients, which also is a condition where you end up getting a neurological effect due to the hormones in the brain that can cause worsening of symptoms, such as even to the extent where you have suicidal thoughts. Mm -hmm. 
I think this is so exciting for somebody like me, which means that hopefully this will instigate greater uh, understanding, but greater research. And we can incorporate neurodiversity in women's healthcare. So understanding how hormones are intrinsically affecting our well-being. Please leave any feedback or comments on anything else that you'd like to cover. 